Welcome back, everybody, for another installment of And Scene Reviews, where we go and see a movie, a brand new release, and we review it. Uh, good, bad, and the ugly. So, today's movie, we went and saw... Uh, Avengers Age of Ultron! <laughs> Gotta say, we loved it. Yeah. Great movie. Very entertaining movie. Extremely entertaining. Um, Brian, you want to start us off? So, yeah, basically you got uh, the entire team is back together and they got a new foe, uh, Ultron, who is created by uh, Tony Stark and Bruce Banner kind of as a peacekeeping, like, defender of the world um, type uh, machine. But that goes south very, very, very quickly. If any of you, which I'm sure that anybody watching this, aside from our parents and close friends, if any of you... Not even them. Not even them. We, we actually uh, don't have any friends other than each other. And that's iffy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, if, if you have followed anything with the... Uh, uh, Marvel comics, uh, Marvel movies, excuse me, that have been coming out in the past few years, um, with the Avengers, uh, Captain America, <clears throat> and um, Thor, Thor, the Thor, yes, the Thor movies, uh, Dark World, as well as the Space Avengers. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, as well as um, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, you may have noticed that we have been leading up to an eventuality. Now, the titles of these movies have been released, so we all know that there is going to be a uh, two-part movie called The uh, Infinity Wars. Now, if anybody's familiar with the comic books that Marvel put out, these are going. this is going to be a war against Thanos, or Thanos. The uh, purple guy. The purple guy. He keeps seeing glimpses of and doesn't seem to ever really be doing anything. He finally gets out of his chair. He gets, a, he he gets out of his chair. He stands up. So, I was beginning to think maybe he was paralyzed or something. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't want to make fun of him about it. But, uh, He's just scared. He's just, yeah. He knows the Avengers is going to beat him up. Um, so the, uh, the staff, Loki's staff. Again, we all know that, um, that Loki's staff is in- incredibly powerful. Uh, once the Infinity Stones were you know, made public, uh, I guess, through the uh, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy... Uh, the stick has one of the stones. And in the movie, we get to see the actual stone, the uh, chamber, the glowing blue uh, rock in the staff is broken by Ultron. But uh, overall, great, great premise, great uh, setup for the eventuality of uh, the next few movies that are going to be with... uh, uh, the Infinity Wars. Okay, this is the culmination of the second part of this. Yes, uh, this I think this concludes Phase 2. Yeah. And we got Phase 3, which everybody, yeah, you know, the movie's coming up for that. But um, this movie, yeah, again, it, it was just very enjoyable. <laughs> it's, yeah. uh, you got Joss Whedon, who obviously, you know, he does, he knows what he's doing when it comes to this stuff. Um, Marvel movies... They're kind of the highs and lows. They have their highs and lows. Uh, Iron Man 1, awesome. 2. First, uh, 2 was okay. I still enjoyed it. 3, I was kind of really iffy on. I-, I liked where they were going with it, where um, Tony Stark is Iron Man, not Iron Man is Tony Stark. Mm-hmm. Um, and he had his little panic attack after the Avengers movie. Um with what he saw out in space. Yeah. And you kind of, with this movie, with uh, Age of Ultron, you kind of get thrown back in that. One of the characters who um, starts out bad, and uh, spoiler alerts, by the way, <clears throat> ends up turning and uh, becoming part of the Avengers. Um, she looks into Tony's mind, and we get to see his worst fear, which is that alien army, that alien uh evil menace that is eventually going to come to earth so mm-hmm. but um uh first thor really good mm-hmm. uh second thor uh, 
I didn't like it that much, honestly. Uh, it, it had its moments. Um, I think once him and Loki got together, it got a little better. Uh, Captain America, the first one I enjoyed. Uh, Winter Soldier, I thought was good. I didn't think it was the end-all be-all of comic book movies that a lot of other people seem to think it was. Um, Not the end-all be-all, but it definitely it's, it's definitely a standalone movie. Yes. So now we have, uh, finally, the climactic <clears throat> conclusion of Phase 2, which is... Uh, Avengers Age of Ultron. Um, yeah, I mean, it just, it does everything very well. Um, the action scenes are epic mm -hmm. in every mm -hmm. way, shape, and form. Um, uh, we got some subplots being developed, kind of a romance between um, Black Banner. Widow and Bruce Banner, um, which I guess was okay. Well, I mean, all the fanboys out there really wanted to see uh, Scarlett Johansson and um, uh, Jason Bourne. I mean, uh, what's his name? <laughs> Everybody wanted to see Black Widow and and, uh, and Hawk. Hawkeye get together because, I mean, honestly, that's that's a good looking couple. I mean, you got two badass assassins, mm -hmm. but of course, you know, <clears throat> like she says in the movie, she's surrounded by the same kind of people. Yeah. Everybody around her, all of her friends, all the people that she calls uh, friends, are pretty much exactly like her. Killers. Um, in one way or another. Yeah. And Bruce Banner, he tries to avoid fighting. Mark Ruffalo. Mark Ruffalo is, oh my god. Mark, if you ever see this, which I doubt you will, uh, you're awesome, dude. Love you. Mm -hmm. You are such an incredible actor and you bring so much uh, life to this character. Bruce Banner has, I mean, <laughs> the the first Hulk movie, Hulk, had uh, no depth. Like, the I forget that actor's Eric name. Banner. He was just blank. No emotion. No, You never understood what was going on. But, dude, hats off mm -hmm. to you, sir. You bring so many levels of uh, of emotion to Bruce Banner's character, and he, you know, we need that. Actors actors need to be able to portray that, and you do that brilliantly, sir. So, mm -hmm. cheers. We could go on and on about the things that we liked, um, but there wasn't too much that we disliked. They really, I can't think of anything I really. Uh, didn't yeah, care yeah. For. I mean, uh, I mean, obviously the big. Um, the big character in here is Ultron. Oh. As the character, oh. which the last couple Marvel movies, the villain has been uh, extremely one-dimensional. Yeah. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. I don't even fucking remember what his name was. Uh, Thanos. Uh, Thanos, okay. No, anyway. no, 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 no. That was Thanos is the Thanos big is the purple, purple guy. guy. Um, Ronan. Ronan the Accuser. Yes. Ronan the Accuser. And, by the way, folks, we literally watched... Literally. I love that word. Literally. We watched... Uh, uh, <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy right before we went and saw yes. Adventures 2 and we still can't remember the name yes but he was basically like watching like a wooden board you call me boy I will unfurl 1000 years of Kree justice on Xandar and burn it to its core then Thanos I'm coming Ultron in this movie, voiced by Mr. James Spader. James Spader. Oh I my god. Really, I think that's oh. really what does it. <laughs> Sir, I bow to <laughs> you. Um, I love you. Ever since I saw you in uh, Stargate. That yes. Was, so I've always loved you. And in, in Boston Legal. Boston <laughs> oh, Legal. Um, god. Because the thing about uh, this is part of Ultron, his uh, Tony Stark's personality is kind of imprinted, imprinted in him. So, of course, he kind of has that kind of smart-ass type of humor Cocky, that snarky kind attitude. of comes through, but they, it at least makes sense in this. It kind of makes sense for kind of the origins of how he's created. So it doesn't kind of feel kind of weird or forced or, or anything. Forced or anything. Like you kind of can, like, see the subtle hints of Tony Stark within him. But, I mean, yeah, just that, that voice. <laughs> oh. He just brings so much to this. I mean, he can he can go from a, an innocent little lamb to vicious and and everything in between in seconds, and it was just so incredible incredible to see him. Yeah. I mean, he chops off a guy's arm, and he's just like, 
oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but don't you dare. I mean, it was just like, it was, he, it, you could feel that he genuinely was apologetic for like half a second. Mm -hmm. And then he went on to yeah. <laughs> doing his little rant again. We had an additional two uh, characters. Um, we had uh, uh, Scarlet Witch. Yeah, I believe yeah. it was kind of her name, played by um, the non-crazy Olsen sister, um, Elizabeth oh, yeah, Olsen. Yeah, she's an Olsen, isn't yes, she? Yes, Elizabeth Olsen, and then we the had... The one that actually has a career. Yes, <laughs> and then we had uh, Quicksilver, I just looked him up, that's Oh, it is name. Quicksilver? It is Quicksilver, okay. played by Aaron Taylor Johnson. Kind of funny because they played husband and wife in Godzilla, but uh, they're in this movie, and uh, both awesome also. They did a great they, job. They gave some depth to them, they kind of work them into the story in a nice way that seemed to make them fit and i kind of love the switch that they did midway through mm -hmm. i kind of wasn't seeing that coming it was kind of cool for all of them to team up like that um i am absolutely heartbroken that quicksilver was killed um please bring him back somehow i don't care how stupid the explanation is for bringing him back but i just him and scarlet witch i loved their chemistry I, so much i mean I, yes i know you probably can't bring them back to life but like i just well their chemistry was so good together yeah. and like i wanted to see them teamed up more and doing like cool stuff one thing about quicksilver um that you had mentioned uh this is the marvel universe and as we all know in uh <laughs> captain america winter soldier uh nobody died in that movie now i think they might have purposely killed quicksilver in this uh for that reason mm -hmm. so that the audience uh so that they look tough to the audience um Thank you, uh, George R. R. Martin, for uh, killing people and making everybody want people to die. You had uh, a lot of appearances. You had War, War Machine mm -hmm. coming back in. And then you had uh, Falcon from uh, Winter Soldier coming back in there for a little bit. Um, so, And then Skarsgård from the Thor movies kind of helping Thor out mm -hmm. with um, his, his, like... I still know Natalie Portman, though. <laughs> No, Natalie Portman and um, why? Why ignoring Thor, Natalie? That hunk of man meat. He's just too too much. Too much too man. Much. But um, that man is too much. But yes, uh, Whedon, Josh Whedon, yet again does the impossible task of juggling this many characters and it not just collapsing under yeah. its own weight. <laughs> Oh, the once they like in the beginning, once they actually get the scepter um, from a, a, a Hydra uh, compound, they're all in this in in the ship flying back in the plane flying back to uh, New York City to Stark Towers, and that is an epic. That is an epic scene with all of them talking. No one person dominates the scene. Mm -hmm. They all have good lines. They all have good dialogue. And it's just, it flows so well. You know, it's mm -hmm. just, it's very well balanced in that scene. Well balanced. Um, so I think one little drawback I had was uh, kind of the resolution after uh, Ultron's plan is foiled. It feels kind of rushed. A little bit. It's like we have this island falling with like all the Avengers spread out, and then suddenly we just jump to um, we're in the new Shield headquarters, yeah, yeah. and like everybody's all like fine and ready to go. Um, probably because I'm reading that uh, the script was originally a little longer. Uh, we didn't had to cut some stuff out. There was even a scene with Loki that he said had to be cut. Um, he's already said that there's going to be an extended director's cut that comes out on DVD with an alternate ending also, so we'll kind of see where that goes, but I'm um, totally getting that. Well, thank you very much. <clears throat> thank you very much for uh, joining us uh, for this episode, the uh, Avengers Age of Ultron episode of uh, And Scene Reviews. Till next time.